Hey guys and welcome to The Fish Room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today for Vlogmas I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the heater upgrade I did to The Fish Room. Um, I had just a normal electric heater and it definitely made things warm down here but it made things warm right beside the heater. So what I wanted was something that had a better fan system to be able to disperse the heat throughout the fish room more but I also didn't want it to be higher power that's a 1500 watt heater um, so I picked up this one that's called the infrared doctor heater and it's the dorkiest name I've ever heard but it has a lot of features that I really like for my fish room because I have so many people come through the fish room I really wanted something that wasn't going to be a risk of burning anyone if they bumped into it and the other one got extremely hot. This one sits inside a wood casing and it's cool to the touch. It also has a tip over sensor and an overheating sensor so that it'll shut off should it get too hot. Um, what's nice too is it has a remote so if I'm working down here and it's getting way too warm for me I can just turn it off from wherever I am and it automatically shuts off when it reaches temperature so it's not running all the time the last one just had basically had an on off feature and i think this thing was about 130 bucks uh, so really not too bad and it seems to run about half the time and i have it set to about 82 degrees for down here which keeps things keeps things pretty darn warm um, but so far so good i've been using it about a week now it was a fishmas present from my husband you know, I'm always trying to improve things down here, and I think this is going to be be really nice. So I'll show it to you in a second. Um, and then I think because it's Thursday and it's a relatively easy day for me, I only ship a couple of boxes. Uh, we'll go around and I'll show you a quick update on the Betta Boys and maybe feed some of the fish. So let's get started. So this is the heater. And... It's got really easy push button controls. Um, right now I have it set to high and that is the fan setting. And I can feel the heat coming off this from the entire opposite side of the room. So it's really working well. Now generally while I'm down here during the day and it's warmer outside, I do switch it off. But I do have it on overnight so that there isn't a big temperature swing within the fish room. A lot of times I find that um, I have issues with fish in the winter if if there's big swings down here so I try and keep things pretty darn consistent this is working great and really for the hundred and you know a little over a hundred dollars it was totally worth it um, and I can put a link to this in the description but you know I don't know that it's really superior to any other heater though it's certainly superior to the one I had been using So the Betta Boys seem to be doing really, really well. Um, their fins are growing back and they're eating well. And so far, so good. I mean, this one, you can see the, those edges to the fins. That's new growth. That wasn't there before. And they're certainly acting sassy. So I am hopeful that they will make a full recovery and be able to be... Um, find forever homes probably after the new year here's another one this one's like a purple and navy color again you can see all the new growth on the ends of their fins and all I'm doing is uh, a lot of water changes for them you know they need some more TLC but definitely improving now this guy is a lot more quiet in demeanor than all the others. Um, I have a feeling he'd be a great one for a community tank. Let's see if he'll come out so you can actually see more than his dorsal fin. Um, but as you can see, his fins have come back beautifully. Let's see, there he is. He's almost like a, a gray-blue color with a darker body. He's really pretty. But again, much more sedate in behavior than the other bettas. Now this guy is a turquoise color with those orange, uh, orange inlays. Really very pretty. Um, you could, this is one of the ones that had the most substantial damage to his fins. 
so you can see that in his tail fin that it's really still pretty uneven looking but it's definitely growing back and he is sassy as all get out so I'm hopeful for a complete recovery for this guy I mean look at his deportment he's definitely not feeling horrible just looks a little rough still and then we have this guy whose fins have really come back well too and he's this sort of uh I don't even know how to describe that color. Red and blue and cream. This is one of the sassiest ones. This is him from the top. I routinely see him chasing other fish. So he's one I'd probably recommend for his own aquarium. And this is the last one. Um, if you remember, I did lose one and one I gave away. And this one's fins have come back almost completely. I mean really not bad at all especially for how it looked while his fins look better than everybody else he was the skinniest so I've been feeding him a fair amount of frozen food and also these freeze-dried worms in order to try and uh, bulk him up a little bit but I think he'll be ready probably the first of everybody but you know all of them are doing really well I'm, I'm very relieved so I thought we'd finish off just by feeding the big boys some krill. Um, the light pollution down here is really bad, so it's difficult to to get rid of all of that. But you can see that the polys feed right up at the surface. They're just getting some, um, as I mentioned, freeze-dried krill. And they love it. And I feed them maybe, you know, three times a week. And you can see that they are certainly plenty thick. So uh, it's enough food for them. but. It's always, always super fun to feed these guys. But I think my favorite is by far these guys. I love watching them just glide through the water. They're all ambush predators. So they have very interesting feeding behavior, at least in my opinion. I mean, the polys are just amazing. And I'm not sure if video really shows you how big these fish are. They are some solid, big fish. And I just find that the polypterous behavior is so fascinating. You can see them eating right at the surface. They slurp it in like spaghetti noodles. Just really, really cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you stop back tomorrow to see something new.